Hi, this is a Technology Ridecast. I'm Mark Farley, and my guest today is Frank Cohen. Hi. Yeah, Frank is an author of, uh, what was it, Java Test? Java Testing and Design. That Java. was kind of a seminal book that got the whole Agile movement started. <laughs> yeah, as if <laughs> there was that. Uh, but you've also been a software developer for a long time, as yeah. long as I've known you, which is about 20 years and probably more than that. That's right. I've, I've all been, always been about like deploying big systems and systems that have a whole lot of moving parts and complicated parts. Right. So yeah. the thing I want to talk to you about today is uh, Red Hat's acquisition this week, or announced acquisition of 3Scale. Yeah. So 3Scale's been a great company. You know, I've been looking at companies that do API management for a long time now. Uh, for example, Tibco has like their own API management platform. So does Oracle and Microsoft and the others. And the cool thing about Red Hat's acquisition is that they're now going to open source the the uh, uh, the three scale um, software base and that'll make it much easier for developers to like be able to release their rest services and then to to kind of hand it over to the IT ops people and make them m make their lives easier to manage those services. Has this kind of thing happened before where an open source company has bought another company and then open sourced their code? I mean, it just drastically changes that business model. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, you can look back to like Mac OS X from Apple, you know, they, they open source the core of it. So there are plenty of uh, business examples where that, that kind of strategy has worked in the past. Ah, okay. So Back to three scale now and and Red Hat. Yeah. Um, what is the impact going to be on on developers, DevOps people? Right. What I think is happening is that pretty much everybody now is seeing the big change in the in the works to move onto the cloud. And so when you're dealing with cloud based transitions, you start to think, oh, everything's an API. Like there might be an API to set up a server. There might be an API to like set up a load balancer or a firewall. Um, so what uh, what the developers are looking for is like a platform that they could turn to that would have all of the API management stuff built in. And uh, it seems like with um, Red Hat's acquisition of Ansible uh, last year that they're kind of uh, building a platform for API management in general. Did they open source Ansible? Yeah, well, Ansible was open source oh, from the start. Oh, yeah. dumb question. Yeah. No, yeah. no, it's okay. Um, the cool thing about Ansible is that um, just like Chef and Puppet, Ansible makes this kind of container technology. So if I was a software engineer and I wanted to like deploy my application to Linux, I would start with an Ansible container that was already set up with like Java installed and my uh, application server installed. And then all I'd have to do is customize it, the container, to have my own app. And then once I've customized it like that, then I can deploy it to Amazon or IBM SoftLayer or uh, CenturyLink or Rackspace. You know, these are all of the, the popular cloud providers today. So how does Red Hat monetize this? Well, uh, they, they do it in a couple of ways. First, uh, no developer in the world knows how any of this stuff hangs together. And so Red Hat acts as like kind of an integration spot. Uh, they'll have the expertise to like advise you through services and then be able to give you uh, support contracts for their open source offerings. So that, that makes sense. Okay, uh, one last question, Frank. What's the state of software testing today? Uh, I mean, testing right now, we basically have successfully made the move into Agile where, you know, Agile, I, I really urge the developers and the testers to work closely together, and that's, that's worked out great. The next step is that the IT ops people, the people that run the servers, have realized that they also need developers kind of uh, a very close relationship to the developers. And so um, that's spawned the DevOps movement. What I'm seeing is that kind of the next movement is the end of testing. Um, and end of yeah, testing. Yeah, because there really isn't a place for testers when you've got developers and IT people working closely together. Um, there, are, there's certainly a place for test in development, but not like testing like we've seen in QA groups that stand alone. Uh, th those guys basically are going to look at merging into the developer groups. Okay, so I guess I actually have one more question then. Yeah. Uh, how does the how does the three scale acquisition by Red Hat? play into that scenario that you just described of the end of testing? Well, it means that if you were a tester and you moved into the development organization that if you had some skills at doing containerization and container-based deployment of applications, you've just written yourself probably a ten to $20,000 a year increase in your paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's a really good thing for testers to realize that they're at the end of like the standalone QA group. They're going to make a bunch more money in the development group. Frank, it's been great having you on. Yeah, thanks.